This lesson will show how to use the free online graphing calculator linked below to graph two functions on the same coordinate plane, adjust the window, and determine any points of intersection. For the first example, we have y equals 5x minus 11 and y equals 3x plus 3. Remember, if this was a system of equations, the point of intersection would represent the solution to the system. So let's go to the graphing calculator and enter our equations. The graphing calculator does use function notation and therefore we use f of x and g of x instead of y. To begin, let's clear the existing functions. f of x is equal to 5x minus 11, and g of x is equal to 3x plus 3. Click Plot Functions. Both graphs appear on the coordinate plane. If the green graph is hard to see, we can change the color by clicking the color palette on the right and selecting any color. For example, we can select purple, click outside the palette, click plot graphs, and it changes the color of the graph. Because we cannot see the point of intersection, we now need to adjust the window. We can adjust the window manually by clicking on the window tab and changing the max and mins for both x and y, or we can try zooming out by clicking on the minus in the lower right hand corner of the graph, which is here. Let's try this. If we zoom out enough, we should be able to determine the point of intersection in the first quadrant, which we now see here in quadrant one. So we could use this window and calculate the point of intersection, but from here, let's go ahead and adjust the window manually. Let's change the x-axis from, let's say, negative five to 10, and the y-axis from, let's say, negative five to 30. This is not required, but it might give us a little better view. Click Update to get the new window, let's go ahead and use this window and now determine the point of intersection. To do this, click on the Calculate tab, click the drop down menu under Mode and click Intersection. And now we draw a box around the intersection. To do this, we click, hold, and drag to form the box that includes the point of intersection and then release the mouse and the point of intersection is automatically calculated. The order pair is 7 comma 24, which is also recorded in the lower left in the calculation window. Let's go ahead and record this. The point of intersection is the ordered pair 7 comma 24. This also represents the solution to the system of equations. Let's look at a second example where we have two quadratic functions or quadratic equations. Again, the first step is to enter the two equations into the calculator. Click the equation tab clear f of x and g of x. For f of x, we enter 0 0.25, open parenthesis, x minus three, close parenthesis, raise the power of two, minus five. g of x is equal to negative one divided by 10 times x to the second power plus two. Click plot graphs. Notice how we need to adjust the window again. And again, there's a couple ways of doing this. We can use the left, down, up, right arrows to reposition the graph. Notice how if we click the down arrow, it moves the graph upward. And now we have a nice view of both graphs. Notice here we have two points of intersection. Let's go ahead and calculate them. Click the calculation tab, click the drop down menu, select intersection, draw a box around one of the points of intersection. Let's start on the left click, hold, and drag to form the box around the point of intersection, release the mouse, and we have the first point of intersection, release a decimal approximation. Let's do the same for the second point of intersection. Click the drop down menu, click intersection, draw a box around the second point of intersection, release the mouse, and now we have the second point of intersection. Notice how both are recorded here in the lower left hand corner in the calculation window. Let's go ahead and record these in our work. We will go ahead and record them running to four decimal places as given. So the first ordered pair is approximately negative 2.1190 comma 1.5510. And the second point of intersection is approximately 6.4047 comma negative 2.1020.
And once again, if this was a system of equations, these would be the approximate solutions. I hope you found this helpful.